Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Spongebob games for the GBA. Spongebob Squarepants Super Sponge is one of the early GBA games. That's why it looks like this. And I have mixed feelings about this platformer. It has upsides and downsides. On the upside, the level designs are great and varied. On the downside, the controls are stiff and the bad controls will make you lose the game way too many times just because of a jump you couldn't make. Overall, I see it's a decent game only considering that it was a good start on the GBA and it's one of the first GBA games. But all the other games on this list surpass it, in my opinion. SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman is another platformer. This time around, SpongeBob can glide and you can blow bubbles, which you can use as platforms to make jumps. The levels have hidden collectibles, which is a nice little feature, and are diverse, which is a good thing. SpongeBob has multiple types of bubble soap, he can make platform bubbles, use floaty bubbles, and bounce bubbles. But the game has a problem the controls feel stiff won't be that bo bothersome since the game is fairly easy, but in some sections the stiff controls will make you hate certain jumps. Also aside of a jellyfish minigame, platforming is all you do in this game, so it doesn't really have variety. Spongebob Battle for Bikini Button isn't the masterpiece you get on other platforms. On the GBA is a very annoying platform. The jump button has a little delay, and what is worse is that the game is a collective lot. To pass a level, you have to collect three spatulas. If you don't collect the three spatulas hidden in the level, you can pass the level, which means that the game forces you to backtrack. Enemies are robots, which you can take down with bubbles or with the seahorse. Robots are mostly just used for solving puzzles rather than being enemies. Also with the seahorse you solve puzzles too. Mystery, the seahorse, behaves like Yoshi but with clumsy controls. But on the plus side, the puzzles and boss battles are very creative. Spongebob the movie tie-in game is another platformer. The controls are refined, now they respond well and they manage to fix the game on one part and break it on another. If the controls are good, now the level designs are not, especially in the running and Krabby Patty mobile levels. Objects appear out of nowhere because the camera is too zoomed in. And even if there is an indicator, the level still felt annoying. The boss battles aren't creative anymore, instead they mostly consist on just jumping on their head. But on the plus side, the game doesn't have the annoying system of collecting three spatulas to pass the level, which means far less backtracking. And another plus are the animations, which look better. Overall the game is decent, it's easy to beat, so if you expect a challenge forget it, it's a kids game, but it's a fun game to play. Spongebob Lights Camera Pants starts off as a platformer where you can play as one of the four characters, Spongebob, Sandy, Patrick and Squidward. You can switch between the characters at any time during the game by pressing the right shoulder button and you will get to switch characters very often as you need them to solve puzzles. And another plus side, the combat is great, each character feels unique, Spongebob karate chops enemies, Patrick throws ice cream at them and Squidward uses his clarinet. Also each one has a normal attack, a jump attack and a dash attack. And it's nice that the game spices things up by having more stuff to do than just platforming. You get a button matching minigame, a racing section and you can also unlock two minigames, Burger Builder and Bully Ball. Bully Ball. It's nice that the characters feel different and that the game spices things up occasionally so that it doesn't get repetitive. Overall, the game is unique and pretty enjoyable. You should try it out. SpongeBob Creature from the Krusty Krab 
is in my opinion a masterpiece. The game has a ton of variety and is nicely executed. I saw some gameplay elements in this game I have never seen in another game. And they work. Also the animations are everywhere to make the experience even greater. You can see little details everywhere. There's variety in enemies, variety in levels, locations and variety in gameplay elements. And they are all masterfully executed. The game has so many different gameplay elements that if I will list them all, I will spoil the game for you. Basically the game changes from one way of play to the other, and each way you play feels good. The game is like a gameplay summary of, the, of all GBA games. It's a masterpiece, and I totally recommend you play this game. Its gameplay and attention to detail will certainly make you want to replay the game. Spongebob Atlantis Square Panties returns the emphasis back on the platform. This time around the game has something unique too. During the platforming you get to make pairs and each pair has different moves and strengths. The gameplay also gets spiced up by occasional minigame sections. Overall the game is fun. Its unique pair system and different level designs along with some good controls make this game another great Spongebob game on the GBA. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.